Now I know the news cycle is full of bad stories these days and you just want to turn it all off, but I thought I would brighten your day with a good news story. Actually, it's a story that has gotten little coverage. What's the story you ask? Well, just a couple of days ago, news broke that only 2% of Americans have taken the new and improved COVID booster shots. Yeah, never have numbers that are so underwhelming been so overwhelming and encouraging all at the same time. Not surprisingly, Pfizer execs were less than thrilled as Pfizer stock tanked on this wonderful news, briefly dropping below pre-pandemic prices. Now, if I was a betting man, I'm thinking that the 2% are all likely sadomasochists, public health officials, and Pfizer investors. Just kind of betting on it, you know. To give this story some context, last year, 18% of all eligible Americans took the safe and effective boosters. So remember folks, 18% and now 2%. This year, the public health agencies all ran the same take one for the team promotional spots, even offering to throw in a sham wow and putting their own CDC's very own sexy cover girl Mandy Cohen front and center receiving the safe and effective booster shot in real time on live TV and still all you flat earthers were unmoved. Anthony Fauci and Peter Hotez even offered to do a strip tease to boost sales. But the CDC figured the sight of that may lead to even more myocarditis than the actual boosters themselves. Now I have a couple of takeaways, but first, Despite the constant barrage of pro-vaccine encouragement, Americans finally seem to be having some reservations about the safe and effective mRNA technology, which would suggest that folks are beginning to pay attention to alternative information about the safe and effective vaccines. Well, it's actually the information that's finally being allowed to get out as well they're likely encountering folks in their very own personal circles who've had outcomes with the vaccines that haven't quite lived up to the safe and effective marketing hype. Second, and even more significant, the 24-7 public health booster campaigns have failed miserably or wonderfully, depending on your perspective, which some folks are pointing out demonstrates the total collapse of trust in public health, and that may very well be true. While others are saying what's truly missing from this year's campaign is fear and censorship, which was used orgasmically by public health officials in previous campaigns. So why not now? Why is it, being not, why is it failing or not being used? Well, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, and shame on me. Seems other than the 2% folks, most of us seem to be feeling this way. Way to go, public health experts earning that trust. Oh well, at least public health officials still got their masks and can faithfully count on the same 2% to do their part to save humanity. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. You can also follow me on my Rumble on my Locals account. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And you'll also find me on Twitter at Camera612, and I will see you next time.